Wednesday. Oh my windy goodness, Wednesday, it's going indeed. to be. It's a little mm -hmm. windy this morning. It gets even more windy later today. And yep. you and I were both on the interstate yeah. yesterday. And were you all of gripping this was the going steering wheel? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I, there yeah. was one wind that came along and I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, it was scary. Those 18 wheelers are definitely struggling out there oh, too. Yeah. I mean, that, that is certainly going to be an issue for today, especially given those wind advisories. You definitely got to take precautions, especially if you're in a higher profile vehicle. But yeah, we had some weather go on yeah. yesterday, yeah. had some tornado warnings. Let's talk about that. We got three things. I basically summarized it in the three sections here of basically what happened here. So the number one thing for tornadoes to develop or how storms can spin is wind shear. That's that change of wind with height that can create these horizontal vortices that eventually meet a thunderstorm and tilt into the thunderstorm and eventually spin it around. Those are called supercell thunderstorms. So that's what we had yesterday. We also had individual cells. They weren't a line or anything. These individual cells have the better chance of spinning, and that's exactly what we saw there as well. And uh, luckily, these are these were uh, brief spin-ups as well, so uh, they only produced brief spin-ups, uh, brief um, uh, tornadoes if we did see any. Uh, so far, we've only gotten thunderstorm damage reports, but uh, the storms have been indicated to uh, rotate on radar. Uh, so that's what we saw yesterday in the National Weather Service. Hopefully we can get some uh, damage reports or damage surveys to diagnose whether or not these, these were tornadoes or not. So those are the top three things that were kind of happening yesterday.